Hey, hey, YouTube fam. Cold case cause here. And the river is frozen. Nipsey! <clears throat> Say hello. <clears throat> Had to come down here and check to see the status of this river and it still looks pretty froze. Hope you're having a, hope you had a great week. And I had to come live here <clears throat> to talk about the situation in Grand Junction, Colorado. And if you haven't heard yet, there was a severed head and pair of hands found in a deep freezer. Get this, guys. <clears throat> a chest freezer that was purchased by a new homeowner in Grand Junction, Colorado, off of Pinion Avenue. Um, it was a two-story residence, and you can see the, if you haven't seen it already, it's in my thumbnail. Hey, girls, be careful. Come here. Zoom up. I hope my dogs don't fall in the water over here. I have to go rescue them. This is a river we're standing on. This is the Dolores River. I'm just worried I don't want to fall through. It might make for a good video, though. <laughs> but we're actually walking on the river. So anyway, back to the story. Um, I fly fish in this river uh, in the summertime, by the way. And uh, So yeah, it's super creepy story out of Grand Junction. I just want to say there's a lot of creepy stories that come out of Grand Junction. Uh, a lot of really negative energy and demonic energy and horrific stories coming out of Grand Junction, Colorado. And I have no idea why that is. You know, Grand Junction way back in the day was where the railroad, it got its name because that's where all the railroads joined together. And see guys, that's where the river is running right there and I'm standing on the, run excuse me, the running river. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to fall in that sucker. But super creepy. So this house was being sold by a mother and son who lived at this residence for years, many years. And they, I'm going to clean this lens. And they ended up selling the house recently to a new couple of homeowners and during the sale of the house you know the house was filled with stuff so and you can see in the thumbnail all the clutter but there was a chest freezer in the basement uh that supposedly was owned by the son that lived there huh nipsey nipsey's happy yeah nipsey's a happy girl trying to get this camera to nice and focus but so they own <clears throat> supposedly the chest freezer was owned by the son of this mother and son duo and in the chest freezer on top there was uh animal meat so i don't know if the guy was a hunter they didn't say what kind of animal meat but they said there was a bunch of animal meat packaged up on top of the severed human head and hands that were found underneath human meat guys isn't that crazy look zoom is gonna fall through over there zoom on, be careful luckily it's super shallow right there but <clears throat> so how crazy is that guys so grand junction colorado is two and a half hours away from me right now where i live it's a little western town. Like I said, there were all the railroads used to join up right there way back in the old Wild West days. And um, <clears throat> so ever since back in the Wild West days, it's it's been a, a, a place of crazy stories and Wild West shootouts and murders and uh, all kinds of crazy things seem to happen in Grand Junction, Colorado, for whatever reason. Um, it's just one crazy story after another. Uh, I know there's a lot of meth going around. A lot of drug issues, a lot of human trafficking. 
Uh, just crazy stories in Grand Junction. I've never understood why Grand Junction is such a crazy place. So back to the story. Um, so they were putting a bunch of stuff out in the yard and they put an ad online saying free stuff, come get it, you know, type deal uh, on Marketplace. So people were coming by and they said they, some folks came by and were looking in the freezer and there was a bag down in the bottom of the freezer, a, a garbage bag, and they dumped out the bag and a human head rolled out, guys. Like, how freaking crazy is that? <laughs> um, so everything's under investigation, of course, right now. Uh, they're in the process of interviewing the past owners. Uh, I'm super curious to hear um, whose remains these are, guys. Like, could this be an answer to, you know, pick one of the missing persons that are in Colorado? I mean, there's, you know, hundreds of missing persons cases, cold cases right now. And that's kind of why I started this channel. It's because of there's so many missing people in cold cases in Colorado and New Mexico, and especially like down in Albuquerque. So, but I imagine someone's going to answer this. You know, you would think that if the mother and the son sold the house and they knew that there was a severed head and hands down in the basement, you'd think, you know, if the son did it, he would have gotten that out of there, you know, <laughs> but I mean, and then there's, it could be a possibility like, you know, the, the black, uh, the dark web, the black market, you know, you can buy body parts and stuff, sick stuff like that. I mean, there's a chance that it could be something like that. But there's also a good chance it could be, you know, the answer to a cold case that can bring closure to somebody's family. And that's what I'm hoping. I'm super curious because I've searched for a lot of people in the state of Colorado. And it could be one of the many people on the list if you scroll down on my videos of all those people that I've searched for. So... I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it answers and solves a cold case here. Uh, but <clears throat> we won't know. They're <clears throat> testing the DNA of the person remains right now. Uh, CBI is involved and all that. But, man, what are the chances of that happening in a little little town of Colorado, a little Grand Junction, Colorado? Um, so, I mean... <sighs> And then you, you know, you think about the people that bought the house. Like, would you want to live in a house where you knew there was a human head and hands and possibly a murder happened down in the basement or in the house? You know, that would freak me out. Uh, that's not a good housewarming gift or a big start to a new life. You know, the poor couple that bought that house. Can you imagine their horror? Like, <laughs> how do you go back to that? So, but I just figured I'd come live. So we're going to kind of talk about any kind of wild cases in Colorado. I decided I'm going to come come back and talk about a little bit. So uh, it was just too wild of a case not to talk about. Uh, <clears throat> but other than the, it's, it's gotten a little bit warmer lately, guys. Uh, the, the sun's been out lately. Uh, it's been getting down to about the 20s now at night. The dogs are loving it, and it won't be long. We'll be down there at the Chelsea Grimm search. So, but you guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about this case in Grand Junction, Colorado. You can uh, I tagged the news article in the community section uh, of my channel. If you go to the community section, uh, there's the article there is pinned there and you can click on it and, and read about it, but just Google, uh, head and hands found in deep freezer. Uh, super strange case guys. But that's what seems to be what the norm in grand junction right now. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Uh, Lots of really sad human trafficking stories, guys. Stuff I don't really like to get into and talk about that much. Um, but things are going good here at Cold Case Calls. I'm about to pick up my daughter. We're going to have a great weekend. And um, I'm going to come live on Sunday with a survival video. So stay tuned for that around 5 o'clock on Sunday. And... um 
We're going to keep these videos cranking out. We're going to So again, if you're if you haven't heard yet, we're going to be going live Sunday. Wednesday and Friday around five o'clock. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to download the videos. So um, it could be it's, it's a lot of times it's a little bit after five. So like 520 or so. Uh, but we're going to start being consistent no matter what. Even if it's garbage videos, uh, I want to start putting out content you guys can count on. So I'm going to start putting out notifications so you can remember to come live or to come watch. And we're going to be mixing the lives in with the regular videos, talking about log cabin living, off-grid, survival segment, and still doing the searches. And if there's any super wild news like today with the head and hands found in Grand Junction in the deep freezer. So can you believe it, guys? So the deep freezer was just left out in the yard. You know, they unplugged it in the garage and drug it out in the yard, and all this stuff was for free. So they put an ad, come get free stuff. And can you imagine, you know, like coming and checking in a freezer and then looking down in the bottom and finding that? Like the, <laughs> the poor people that actually found that, probably going to have to go to some counseling. But uh, tell me what you think down in the comments. I hope you have a great weekend. And um, just wanted to show you some of the beauty here on the Dolores River. It won't be, it's, it feels like a spring day today, guys. I even had the birds, spring birds were out chirping early this morning. But we got some snow on the horizon. And um, imagine, usually here in Colorado, it snows till around April. And then finally starts to turn into rain and let up. Say hi, Nipsey. Nipsey, that's Nipsey girl, but we're about to get Boots, little brother, the little mini Dotson I gave my daughter for her birthday, so I'm picking up her and little Boots boy, I can't wait, and we're going to have so much fun this weekend, as I invite you two at home hope you're spending it with someone you can stand and love and I hope you're taking a break from your work week and um, say a prayer for the poor victim that was found in that chest freezer uh, hope you have a blessed weekend thanks guys say bye zoom say bye zoom oh. good girl